Hey everyone, there have been a lot of ludicrous scare stories in the press about how Brexit will lead to war, pestilence, the deaths of millions, Jimmy Savile coming back to life, all the iPhones being rounded up and similarly sensationalist nonsense. To be honest, I doubt anything could be worse than the current situation where Tony Blair is given unlimited airtime and political debate is reduced to discussing how everything from healthcare to the price of a train ticket is as a result of Brexit or sometimes a conspiracy involving Russia. Well, it seems that Vladimir Putin has been inspired by what he's read online and decided to literally plan for a nuclear option. And it's not the sort of nuclear option that Jeremy Corbyn talks about involving a strongly worded letter at a poetry workshop in Hampstead. I'm talking about the sort of nuclear option where atomic weapons explode in a radioactive blast and the only people who end up surviving are the poor folks who've already had to spend nearly an hour stuck on an underground train. Be prepared for endless rants and post-apocalyptic question time about whether rich pensioners should qualify for the nuclear winter fuel allowance. This week, Russia announced that it suspended its involvement in the IRNF treaty designed to prevent weapons research following similar moves by America to up its game. In all honesty, very little has actually changed because both countries have been secretly developing new weapons for years anyway. To a large extent, Russia and the US have been sitting on weapons systems designed decades ago in an era when there were two Germanys and vodka only came in one flavour. Uh, the admission from both sides that they're keeping the weapons systems up to date and not being reliant upon punch cards is a bit like when the US was condemned by the left for formally recognising that the Israeli capital might actually be in the city where the government is located and not Tel Aviv like they like to insist. Nuclear weapons are one of those topics where in the real world it comes down to facts versus feelings and anyone who tries to simplify it down to a good versus bad argument is almost certainly incorrect or attention seeking but then we already know that thanks to nuclear physics the world is divided into protons, neutrons, electrons and morons. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.